Congratulations, Barry Fowler. I mean, the outcome of the game didn't matter, I think, as much because the team's already wrapped it up. But you got finally an opportunity to pitch and pitch very well. Tell us what you had going today. Well, I just praise God for the opportunity and Rick to give me another opportunity here. I has, had a good time in the 2011 here. You know, we played well and uh, looking forward to continuing that success. Um, so you continued today, a three up, three down inning. You got to thank Donnie Webb for that defensive play behind you. Oh, sure thing. You know, that's what he's out there for, to run him down. I'm going to have to buy him a steak dinner tonight. Tell us what you were throwing today and what you were, uh, were throwing best. I was throwing the sinker. Uh, I actually got a, uh, an out on a sinker, an out on a changeup, and an out on a uh, cutter. <laughs> so all three working. So everything's working today. You've had a long roundabout story to get here. You're 38 years old. It's your second uh, trip through Winnipeg. But you're still getting a uniform at age 38, and you're still pe pitching professional baseball. It really is an incredible story considering you didn't pitch professionally until you were 34. Uh, right, yeah, that's correct. And actually, I just turned 39 yesterday, so I'm actually 39. Well, happy birthday. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. But yeah, seriously, I, I did just turn 39, but I feel like I'm 21. God's really blessed me, and I'm uh, excited to keep coming out here and playing the, this wonderful game. There's a lot of people who don't get a uniform at 39. I'm blessed. I am blessed, for sure. Uh, congratulations. Well done today. Thank you very much. Congratulations on being champions. You have to go on the road one more time this year. Is it tough to get up for these games, or are you thinking about the the playoffs and getting ready for them? No, we still gotta we still gotta prepare ourselves and get up and get ready to go. Um, you know, we're going into the St. Paul series. You know, we uh, it's first time we've been there all year. Um, rumor has it it's the last series of the stadium there. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, so there's gonna be there's gonna be quite a bit of fans uh, there for the for the series and whatnot. And you know, we want to show them the kind of the kind of series that they deserve to see. Um, you know, we're just not going to go in and throw the t throw in the towel and let them take three games from us because, you know, we're still playing for, for personal achievements. Uh, I know a lot of those guys in that clubhouse are, got some goals that they still need to, uh, s some goals they still need to catch. And uh, as, a, as a team, you know, there's, there's always that elusive number 60 and 61 that we want to catch for sure. There's also the fact that St. Paul is kind of the center of the league and there's always scouts in that ballpark and you always want to be at your best when there are people watching you play. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, whether they're scouts or not, you want to be at your best. Uh, but obviously we're in the situation that we're all put in playing independent baseball. Whenever there's a scout present, you want to be at your best. You want to be playing at the top of your game. And, you know, a lot of guys are playing good baseball right now. And, you know, uh, we, we'd hate to see anybody go um, at this point in the season. But, you know, if it happens, it, it, it'll be great for that person. Yeah, but that's why you're here, right? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. That's why we're all here. That's why we're all grinding together. So, You have seven left. Um, this game today was probably not the outcome that you wanted because I thought the team ground it pretty well. Um, but there doesn't look to be any give up on this uh, club, and it looks like you want to be able to be playing your best when the playoffs start next week. Yeah, definitely. That was a tough game to, uh, to let slip away there late. You know, um, Hollingsworth, another unbelievable effort um, on his part. And I think it just caught the, the entire team off guard when they when they hit a couple balls hard. You know, it was kind of like, oh, I mean, that whole game we were talking in the dugout, I, I felt like we were up double digits that entire game. It was just a 3 nothing ball game, but it felt bigger than that. Um, but, you know, it's just one of those those games that, that baseball bites you, bites you in the rear end. And, you know, you, uh, you take your cleats off and you come back the next day and, you know, you just got to prepare um, for the St. Paul series. I know that's where we're looking. We're not going to focus at all on this game. We're going to take the good with the bad. And we're going to go into that St. Paul series and, you know, hopefully win another series uh, to, to put that down in the books. Have a great road trip. See you when you get back. Thank you very much.